Hey, what's up? This is James, and yeah, I'm here to show you guys the app called iBooks. Oops, sorry. So, we'll go right into it. It's right there. I'm on my iPod Touch second generation. Just letting you guys know. Yep, I let it load. You guys can get this app from App Store for free. And you must have firmware 4.0. Okay, let's wait to load. Kinda takes long to load. Let's go to the library. Okay, so this is the main menu. You can say that. Yeah, you can say this is main menu. You can search books that you have, or you can change the listing. No. Okay, sorry about that. Library. And yeah, you can also press this to list the books that you have, and I prefer this. So, let's show you guys how it, it looks. So, let's just go to Around the World in 80 Days. Yep, so here it is. Let's go to first page. No, never mind. Okay, so this is how it looks. So what you get is right here. You get brightness. You just go. Mm, I prefer not too bright. It hurts your eyes. I'll have one of that. Um, what else do you get? Yeah, font. No, yeah, fonts and sizes. So if you want it bigger, just press this. It gets bigger. As you can see, if I press smaller, it gets smaller. You can also change fonts right here. There's quite a lot of, no, not that many, but still, yeah, been changed to Times New Roman. Oops, the wrong one. Yep, there we go. Come back, and you also get to search things. So if you want to search, say, um, me. There's me and page two, page four. You know, click on anything. Cancel. You also, lastly, you get the bookmark right here. If you press bookmark, there you go. So then, if you go, like, if you turn the iBook off and turn it back on, and you want to start reading from where you left it. You can just press the book, and it will show up right there. Okay, so let's on it, bookmark it. You can also flip pages. It's pretty, looks pretty real. And just like that. You know, it, just, it works pretty well. It works good. Or you can go from here. That. I really like that. I think it's pretty cool. Okay, let's go back to the library, and let's, you can also edit your books, you can also delete them, but nah, it's done, so we'll go to store, for some reason, it doesn't work, I live in Canada, maybe because, yeah, maybe because I live in Canada, yep, if I go to future, it doesn't work. But if I go to chart, you can go to top free, you can just look at it. You can just download them for free. Also, there is browse, top paid. There's the authors, right there. You can change categories, like that. Yep, and there's top free right there. And also, you get to search. Well, not gonna do that. And purchased. Well, I didn't really purchase anything. Oh, well, that's for free. So, yeah, that's about it. Okay.
Okay, I'm done. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and please subscribe, rate, and like, and comment, and comment on this video. Yes, yeah, so I'll I'll see you guys on the next video. This was James. Uh, peace out.